How's it going, guys? I am that socially awkward gamer you probably forgot existed. Otherwise, I was Patty Jack. It's been a little while since I've done a Hearthstone video. You know, this is actually the first gaming video I've done in the last couple months. And if you can hear some echo in the background or something, I'm in a pretty big room right now back at my parents' house. I'm still here for like another couple weeks before I head off to college. But I'm really bored right now because it's raining outside because it's Canada and this is our summer. It's actually been really hot this summer, but you know, whatever. Anyways, let's do some Hearthstone because I'm really bored and I have to go to work later. But I don't know what to do till then. Okay, so. I'm not doing the Curse of Naxxramas playthrough thing that everyone else is because I've already kind of gone through the whole thing by myself without recording it because, you know, couldn't really upload anyways. But... I have a bunch of new fun decks and gimmick things that I want to try out, so we're just going to do that, if that's okay with you. I really hope it is, because I really want to do it. I've gotten, like, up to rank 16 using, like, really stupid decks, like this one, which is really just every legendary I have, and then a bunch of epics, and then going down into rares and stuff, because I'm too poor to be able to afford to buy enough card packs to get all the legendaries, but, you know, whatever. So we're going to start off with the warrior deck that I call Gnome Fooling Around. Because it has every gnome character in the game. Except for Tinkmaster, I think. Tink yeah, Tinkmaster's a gnome, I'm pretty sure, but I don't have him. I have Gelvin, though, so that makes up for it, kind of. Other than that, it's a lot of uh, weapons and some direct damage and... I threw in a couple fairy dragons as well because they just seem to go in kind of the known smurfy gimmick thing for whatever reason. Oh, and a mind control attack. I got that. Yeah. Okay. Two fiery war axes. I don't know if I... I don't know if I could ask for a better start. This is pretty gr... Okay, yeah, I can have a better start. Hello. <laughs> go leper gnome. And I have many options. Well, two one options shot. for the next one. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, I think the fairy dragon is a good option here. Because he can't hit that with his cards, and that's always nice. Okay, you have a dire wolf, do you? Well, that was good for him. But what he doesn't know is I have a war axe, and a dire wolf isn't allowed to be a dire wolf anymore. I really like that. I, I haven't lost a single match with this deck yet, so now that I say that, I'm probably going to lose because he's got a harvest golem. Ah, I hate the frickin'. I love it, but I hate fighting it because it's irritating as hell. Irritating as all holy hell. But we do have a Dragonling mechanic. Eh, let's go no much inventor. I think that's a better option. Right now. Gets us a mortal strike, which might come in handy later. Okay. And the inventor trades well with that harvest golem, so I'm not too worried about that. Now I don't really want to flood the board, because I'm just asking for a hellfire. Get in there and fight! Okay. This guy has got answers for this deck so far. What are you coining? Oh, oh god. <laughs> now I'm really scared of Hellfire. Okay. Well, that's good we do here. Probably another Fiery War Axe. And then a Fairy Dragon. Sounds like a good idea. He may have power overwhelming for that thing, which annoys me, but... You know. Okay. Now, get out of here. I don't like your kind around here. At least you can't use like a shadow bolt or something on. Oh! That's a thing. Okay, he's just gonna try to. Okay, he lost a knife juggler, so that's pretty good. Yeah, he's going to try to just pound me down now. Now, is he going to run the Nerubian into... He's not. Okay. Alright, what is the best way to deal with this? I could run that in. Brings up the Nerubian. Can't kill the Nerubian unless I use a Mortal Strike. Is that worth it? Because I can't use the Heroic Strike. I wonder. 
You know, it might be. I mean, the extra the extra two damage isn't really a factor as often as you think it would be. So yeah, I think we do that. There we go. And we use the mortal strike. There we go. And we'll armor up and smack Sergeant Commander in the face. And we have board control, albeit he has a health advantage. Well played. But he knows that I screwed him over, which is always nice. Uh, I've got an execute, so not too worried. I'm a little worried, but I'm not too worried. <laughs> okay. So I guess we drop the novice engineer first, Hello, obviously, see like what else we get. Got a gore howl. Not, not so useful right now, unfortunately. That thing can just go away now, please. I think we dropped the dragonling mechanic. Okay. Now we got some board control, and hopefully now we can start armoring up and getting our health back while we simultaneously beat the crap out of him. We must cleanse the sun. Okay, you have to use that, which is kind of that hilarious. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. sorry that, that was a bit of a misplay, man. I I apologize for that. Okay. Going to throw down the Dalaran Mage. Not the worst idea. So first off, we're going to yeah, we're gonna yeah. run. There we go. We're just going to keep our board control going. I think that's a much better idea. We're going to throw down the Dalaran Mage. I'm going to hold on to the Gore Howl and Heroic Strike because that could be hilarious next oh, turn. If you're sure. I like to keep my weapons and stuff kind of secret from them a lot of the time. The light protects me. Okay. Margin Squire, not too Okay, that's a little bit more. Actually, that's not effective at all. He's just kind of reaching for straws now. Okay, how do we want to do this? Now he's got five damage. I got two, three, four. He's actually got more damage on the board than me right now. Which is not ideal. But we can we can whip out the gore howl, so I got. 7, that's 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, that's not enough. Okay, so what we're gonna do... Throw the Dalaran in there. And whip out our Gore Howl. Armor up a bit. Smack him. Okay. I'm okay with this. Really wanted to get that big damage he had, well, medium damage off the board. I think that's the most important thing. Put this apple on your head. Knife juggler, can you put out anything else? The light protects Please me. don't hit me. Okay. Not so bad still. So that's ten. Okay, so that's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Can't kill him this turn either, which is annoying, so we gotta keep trading. Okay. Yeah. We'll obviously trade that out. Should we? Could actually armor up. Yeah, we'll armor up and then gore howl. And then just kinda keep going for his face. Throw down our knife juggler as well. Okay, let's just keep hitting him. We still got the heroic strike, so we can still do 9 damage. 10, 11, 12, 30. Yeah, we got him next turn unless he can wipe everything. Get in there and fight, maggot! Okay, yeah, we got him. I think. I just gotta keep one damage on the board and I can get him. Or two damage. Okay. Alright. Well, let's do this then. Yeah! Okay. The gnome deck has not failed me so far.
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. I would be super appreciative. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because then you can see all the other awesome content I make. And uh, did you know I have a shirt store? Because I kind of do. It's, uh, it's down in the description there. So you can just like, go down there and click the link on every video I put up. And you can go buy like t-shirts and iPhone cases and maybe like a pillowcase so you can rest your head on my divine essence every night. So yeah, go down there and uh, just go buy it please because, well, because haircuts like this are not cheap, alright? Let's go do it. Ugh, idiots.